Welcome back. For this zip line, we're going to visualize data using a heat map with D3JS. First, let's take a look at what we mean by heat map. One of our campers built this graph of monthly global land surface temperature from the year 1753 all the way on up to 2015. Now, the y-axis is the month, the x-axis is the year. And when we mouse over, we can see the year, the month, and the temperature it was that month, and how the temperature varied from the base temperature, which was 8.66 degrees Celsius. And the color is cooler or warmer based on whether that temperature was cooler or warmer. And you can see recently temperatures have been much warmer. For this zip line, don't look at the example project's code. Figure it out for yourself. Fulfill the user stories below using whichever libraries and APIs you need, but give it your own style. And be sure to use D3 to build this project. The user stories are, I can view a heat map with data represented both on the Y and X axis. Each cell is colored based on its relationship to other data. And I can mouse over a cell in the heat map to get more exact information. Here's the data set we use to build this. As you can see, I'm using the JSON formatter Chrome extension to make this JSON pretty. So the data are the year, the month, and the variance from the base temperature up here at the root. You don't have to use this data set. You can use whatever data appeals to you. However, you will need to get it to conform to the heat map D3 format. Remember that if you get stuck, you can use read search ask. And when you're done, be sure to share your zipline with us in our code review chat room and also on Twitter and on your city's campsite on Facebook. Have fun.